And now we'll hear from uh, the wonderful Agneta Falk. Thank you, Jack. He, I just echo what he said. We had an incredible time. I'm going to read two San Francisco poems, one very, very, very short, and one not so long. So, the very, very short one first is called The Color of Khaki. I want to live in the blue house next to the church, he cries out, from the bench in the park, homeless down to his socks. So do I, I think, peering over the dark edge of his life. We all want to live in that house. Overhead, a seagull cackles. Loneliness is a color of khaki. And then, this poem I read not so long ago, and I thought it was most fitting for this event, and I think poems can be read many times. Is called the Ellis Act Blues. She was under the cover when the letter arrived. Her mother, three days dead. The letter of eviction. The landlord, her godfather. She, 30-something, and her entire childhood in that apartment. A year later, the inevitable. Two days to go to final eviction and 40 years of a parent's life still untouched. A kitchen full of cookware, books, photos, toys, clothes and paintings. And she, paralyzed with fear, no longer caring what, what, what will happen to it all. Just wanting to get on that plane, that one-way ticket out and no return, leaving this city a little less quirky, a little less diverse. And so many with her, torn out of their warm beds, like Gum Ji Lee and her husband Poon Hung Lee and their 48-year-old handicapped daughter who were forced to put their entire life in storage while callous greed Charlie stood panting at the door with insatiable eyes, almost pissing himself with delight at constructing yet another condominium for Google Glass Tom and Technomic. Oh, golden nugget of a city, basking in the glory of your rich palette of people, and multifarious color cultures. Your quaintness, your tolerance of other, your aspiration to freedom and choice. Don't sigh be yourself out. Breathe in, breathe deep before you tear yourself apart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 